How you going, Libra? I've got your daily read for today. Um, we'll use three different um, decks, and um, we'll only pull seven cards out of each deck. We'll see what comes out with double, let alone triple emphasis. Uh, the messages that came in before the reading were, I take care of my loved ones and myself. I feel secure. I have enough. I deserve happiness and share my joy and gratitude wherever I go. And I am thankful for all that the universe has given me. So all those messages show me that you're a beautiful soul. So let's get on with this and have a look at the reading. Yeah, see? Good news come right. I'm going to say straight up. When you give and you receive to the universe, as beautiful as those messages come in, you get that. The beautiful karmic experience of Dharma. Good news coming in. See? Good news coming in fast, yeah? Coming in real fast. Yeah, and it's, look, Spirit's pulling you in that direction. So it's coming in fast. See the strings? See the strings to balance? See the strings pulling you? It's like spirit, Spirit's pulling you in some sort of direction, okay? Because you take care of your loved ones, and that's giving and receiving. You're secure in you now. So that's that's appreciation. And I deserve happiness and share my joy and gratitude wherever I go. So that shows that you the balance of that karmic experience of having good versus evil and having that you, you give what you get in return and then being thankful for all that the universe has given you shows gratitude. So tell me that ain't literally the seven heavenly virtues in one go. Yeah, you're walking away from stupid crap in your life, yeah? From this stuff here. People that want to play on your mind, you walk away from it. You chose the light, our divine source. Look at them all playing on that mind. So that's why the divine's come along to give you this beautiful justice of good news coming in. Yeah? And not only that, it starts with your card too, yeah? Beautiful. That's Sagittarius energy. This is like a blending of harmony so with that Sagittarius energy of that um, of uh, the temperance angel there. This is like walking the middle path and nourishing your wholeness. It's like blending energies and having that harmony, moderation, balancing the masculine, feminine energy. But it's like the perpetual motion of life of living in the Goldilocks zone. So it's like the balance of negative to positive emotions of, of exactly what's on your card there. You know, um, 811-118-11881 might be a number to you too on the thing, but just... They're just numbers in themselves, but just look out for those signs of 118, uh, 1188, okay? Double one, double eight, okay? Which both together put to 99. So just have a look out for those numbers because that puts your intent, into, your intentions are manifesting with a double one and lots of money, honey, on the double eight. So there you go. The balancing, uh, you have the perfect balance here. Yeah? Trust your intuition. Look, it's come straight out again. It's your card there. Look. You have balance in that card, balance in that card, balance in that card, and then you have the balance of intuition and psychic abilities in this card. It's like you've turned around and walked away from this crap in your life where they were making you feel bad and all fell through. And even though it was love in those cups, you still walked away from it. So you could, you deserve your happiness and share your joy and gratitude wherever you go. That's the truth. But you're not about to be walked over in life. So that's the, that's the best way to say it, especially with those eight eights in a row there. Um, beautiful they may have maybe thinking logically they may be thinking all right you may be thinking back you may be thinking back or thinking forward about walking away from it in itself this can also be embracing your inner child or thinking about your future self okay in itself you can be thinking about that but you are thankful for all the universe has and you feel secure and you have enough so i can see how she's sitting on a solid foundation see secure she has enough she does think logically with her head over her heart and you're a manifesto with that card underneath there Look at this, right? This is your reading, right? Look at this. Leo. Ah, uh, Libra. Sorry. Look, even the Leo, the strength in you is beautiful, yes? But look at this, right? That's your connection to the divine. Now, tell me everything that I said in those messages that started before this reading doesn't sum up these cards in one go, that you take care of your loved ones and your and yourself, and it shows that with ingratitude by thinking about them, okay? And there's your blessing of, of the success coming in, okay? We'll come back to that card again, but I want to talk about this card, the, that you are thankful for the universe has all given you. That's hope in itself, but that's being very thankful for the universe to give you those wishes. You deserve happiness and share your joy and gratitude wherever you go. That is literally word for word, these two cards. Okay, plus this card here of having that divine connection of hope and you take care of your loved ones and you feel secure, you have enough. That is beautiful. That is the underlining energies of this hope, of this beautiful star energy as you're the star. Now look, it's like the lines, uh, it's like the light is shining on you because you can see the light would be shining on you from that direction. The light is definitely underneath your hand there, so it's shining on you there. The moon is above you so that it can show you to release any fears at the present moment and trust your intuition, okay? And yeah, you do think nostalgically, this could even be somebody from the past coming back, okay? So just pay attention to that. But there's some sort of success with something coming full circle in itself. The messages that you receive, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. That's the signs and synchronicities card. I only have one signs and synchronicities card, and that's it. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. That's also love in itself, but it's uh, more flirtatious love, okay? But it's more like serendipity. So the balancing those scales it would be serendipitous love. 
You've worked hard, hard. You've worked hard, right? When you work hard like that, because I've got eight, 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 okay, in a row here as well, plus one, one in the middle. So eight, one, 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 eight. So just think about those numbers. That's all. Just have a look at the signs and synchronicities as you come along. There's a reason those cards come out for that way. But you can see you work hard, okay? That's co-creating with the universe, but that's working hard and perfecting you. So you can be the best version of you. And it balances the scales out for the universe. That's how the universe works. Is when you feel secure in yourself and you have enough, you don't have to ask for anything else. So therefore it comes to you. You be thankful that the universe has given it to you. And it gives you the joy and gratitude wherever you go. So you can take care of yourself and loved ones. Dead set, the readings, oh, my ears ringing. Dead set, oh, the re ringing big time. Um, dead set, the reading, uh, before I even started to put it down to this to this reading. It's like I'm talking to a beautiful, beautiful soul, okay? But here you go, I've just got another eight. Eight, 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 eight. <laughs> I've got every eight in the deck in one go. So eight might be a very, 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 but we'll have a look at the underlining energies of this, but I've just got every single eight in the deck. So I need you to just pay attention to eights. Okay, um, when I add all those eights together, this gives me a 32. Three plus two is five. And five in numerology is change, adventure, life experience, and opportunities. Like there's some sort of life experience opportunity by turning it back on those cups, you were able to, and it wasn't easy. I'm telling you the truth. You had to trust your intuition. You are thinking about it, and I can see that because it's trapped you in your mind. Not trapped you in your mind, but it, you might have been trapped. That's what you walked away from. But I get trapped in your mind because we've got somebody thinking over here, and you're thinking logically with that intuition before it, okay? Maybe that's what trapped you is you had to release yourself by thinking logically and using that intuition. But somewhere along the way, you had to turn your back on something that was love in itself or something that was fire in some sort of way, which is emotion, okay? And we can see that it either traps them in their mind or it traps you in your mind in some sort of way or you were generally trapped but I, I if you were generally trapped that puts emphasis to why the good news is coming in after it and why you had to work hard before it so it sort of puts emphasis and it also puts emphasis on the balance of that scale there as well so I'd say you were probably trapped in, in some sort of way yeah and there's your inspiration you were somehow inspired there's good news coming like extreme good news coming inspiration in itself yeah there's some sort of legacy coming you should be inspired at the present moment to create some sort of seeds of growth i suppose is the best way to say it in some sort of legacy some sort of business some sort of thing of yourself in order to have that balance because the whole thing is around that temperance angel and having that duality and amalgamation of that perfect balance of masculine to feminine and that is your sign that is a victory there's a victory there too okay so you made a wish in some sort of way but there's the balance as well see the negative and positive can't see the negative and positive See the negative and positive, see the white around there and the black around there, the negative and positive. But the, you know, you might have been smiling on top and that's how you felt, or you may have had to walk away from two faced individuals in some sort of way. But there's a victory there and it's coming in fast because above that is the eight of wands. But look, the balance of masculine to feminine energies, and then this is what this card is it's a perfect balance of masculine to feminine energies. It's like you were strong at the times you need to be strong and extend the olive branch at the times you need to extend the olive branch. And as above, so below is trying to come out. So you've got as above, so below at the top, and the least of your worries at the present moment is that devil who wants to play on that mind with promises of that devil is what traps you here it's like you use your cups and pentacles to get yourself out because it's surrounded by cups and pentacles of the justice because that's all we can see there and affinity of signs of that looks like an eight just pay attention to eight okay because it might be something in itself now he comes with promises of sex drugs and rock and roll but you didn't take it because you moved away from it because that's movement away see movement away move away see it was good for you to do that and spirit wants you to know that in itself because now we're leading to the temperance to give you the harmony and balance that you deserve yeah, here's your pentacles and pay attention to the signs and synchronicities Okay, serendipity is on its way and that might be the, the abundantly gift, abundant gift coming because now we're leading into that high priestess energy of trusting your intuition at the present moment. You're very strong, okay? You had to release them burdens, okay? You gathered all them burdens and release them. Yeah, you're very, very strong. Yeah, you completed that out. You completed that out and that's beautiful, okay? Now we're leading into that six of cups at 911 on the clock. So these signs and synchronicities may, may be important to you in some sort of way, yeah? Yeah, I, we've got the same card here, okay? They are thinking about you. They are thinking about you walking away, and that is a card of a spoiled brat because they rejected it in some sort of way. So whatever it was, whether it was family, thoughts, in some sort of way, what you walked away from, I think they tied you up, like bonded you in some sort of way, in some sort of way, just because that's tied on and, and malevolent in itself. Then the devil energy come out to show how strong you are in order to move away with that chariot and then good news coming in in order to balance that harmony out and you work very, very hard with the eight of pentacles, okay? Now these cards come out exactly the same time, which leads to the six of wands, which gives you the wish. Now you can see that I don't think they like it. 
I don't think they like what's actually happened. I think they may be thinking they're sitting there thinking about it because that is a spoiled brat. That is regret. That is rejection. As he's rejection, he's also regretting the rejection and he's also contemplating what's happened. And we can see that they may be thinking about you walking away and contemplating why you did that in itself, Libra. Because the whole thing is based around that justice in the first place. But now we're going under that six of wands. So as you can see, they're definitely thinking about it with double emphasis. I only pull seven cards out of each deck and that's it. So, and I do that for a very specific reason. So spirit has a, has a fresh approach every time to give me exactly what I need to do to compare those messages before I start the readings, what I channel. So that way I can get the messages out the right way for you. But yeah, somebody's thinking about it. I don't think it's you because you've got your eyes closed if you're the high priestess who trusts the intuition. You've more got your eyes closed and thinking about, see, she's got her eyes closed and she's just, see there's eyes on there, but they're the eyes of the divine guiding you and the divine guidance you've got in order to choose the light. It's come back out again, man. I don't think they like that. I don't think they like that because look, it's come back out both cards, okay? So when I talked about the strength card before it, we got this card in the underlining energies, okay? Then this come out after. So in the underlining energies of this whole reading, I don't think, I don't think what you walked away from likes it. And unfortunately, when it's a divine blessing and divine gift of somebody beautiful like that with a new beginning like that, that needs to release in some sort of way. So C needs to release with the strength, see? And there's, that's my trials and tribulations. You learn the lesson, you move forward, you release, and there's the strength on your shoulder of the divine. Now, here's the blessing with the strength of that lion there as you moved away, okay, from some sort of trickster energy that had some sort of hold on you in some sort of way. You've, been let, you've walked away from it because there's the Eight of Cups, which brings you in the Eight of Good News and Communication in order to have that balancing harmony and trust your intuition as you lead towards that Six of, Pentacle, uh, six of Wands with the extreme victory as you've made that wish. The only card that's sticking out there is the sun, which is extreme positivity. I don't think that they like what's happened. And I think that they may be planning stupid stuff. But at the end of the day, you can't stuff around with a divine blessing who is watched over by its angels. See? The, uh, the blessing. That's how it sits in front of me. Uh, the divine angels watches over you and then watches over the blessing as it comes in. Because you had to move away. Divine don't want you to be trapped like this and manipulated like that. And it's disgusting when people do that. But yeah, you take care of your loved ones. You feel secure enough now and to have enough. You deserve happiness and share your joy and gratitude wherever you go. And you are thankful for all that the universe has given you. And that is, that is borderline sexy. That's shocking, man. It shocks them. Because here, I've, I've got a devil... I've got the rejection and I've got the thoughts there. So it shocks them for what you've done. That shocks the foundation thoroughly when you do something like that. It's the same cards come out again. See, this card says it even better. They sit there and look at all that's happened here, not even realizing they can fix their own lives. But that's, but that's there you get the spoiled brat. They can't even see their own blessings as it comes along. But you, you see that blessing, don't you? And that is beautiful because that leads back to the start again where you deserve happiness and you have gratitude, gratitude, for everything the universe has given you and wherever you go. Beautiful, eh? Libra, you're beautiful. This is inspiration in itself. You have a divine gift coming in in some sort of way, okay? The divine gift of inspiration. Uh, the divine gift of abundance and inspiration. When we put them together, it gives you the seeds for a potential new growth in some sort of way. Because that taught to be like the spark and tuned, turned into creative new ways to vision your future. Your human perception of, of time is what creates that, that creation process. So you're able to know what's important and what's not given all the time in the world. You can learn to create anything in this type of energy, yeah? That's enthusiasm. Inspiration, enthusiasm, divine gift of inspiration, and then enthusiastic energy. Uh, and I don't think they like it because it's come straight after that tower. So I don't think they'd like the fact that, that you, but unfortunately, when it comes to a divine gift like yourself, because the whole reading is centered around a divine gift. That's divine gift. Aces are divine gifts. That's why it's drawn as hands because the divine gives them. Uh, nobody could draw God because how could you draw something so beautiful, right? So it's given that way. You were told to move away. Well, it's not so much told you use your psychic abilities or trust the divine and so, oh, my ears are ringing bad. And in order to move away from that stuff, look, it just spat itself out. Now, remember when we were doing the reading before, it showed that the, well, you had all of the um, elements of um, air, fire, water, and earth. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in order to use them to your advantage and alchemize and, and, and manifest things, okay? So you're manifesting beautiful things for yourself and, it's, and it's, I'm telling you, it's divinely led because it's divine. This is divine patience, okay? It's patience is one of the seven... Oh, one of the seven heavenly virtues is patience, okay? Of 
Chastity, temperance, which is the temperance card there. Charity, dil diligence, patience, kindness, and humility. The opposite to that is lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, and, pr and, and, and greed or pride or whatever it is. Yeah, and there's a saying that I've got here. The pride that blinds comes foolish, covers foolish actions against common sense. And look, tell me that doesn't explain that in one go. The pride comes along before, and, and it's... The pride that blinds causes foolish actions against common sense. They don't even see that they can fix their own lives. It's just quicker and easier to blame somebody else for the problems. We go straight under the strength here in your uh, intuition. Yeah, beautiful, yeah? Music of materials. That shows that you're abundant. So that shows the start. So here, it shows the start of the gift, the ace of abundance to the king. So it's the alpha to the omega, the first start to the finish of learning the trials and tribulations for starters. But your abundance in your source energy. That's literally what that says. Abundance in your source energy, material success, and the journey of creating that wealth. Being able to provide for those you love as you take care of your loved ones and yourself. And the joy of life well lived, okay? And you deserve happiness and share joy and gratitude wherever you go. Yeah, I'm thankful for all that the universe has given me. And it shows it all in that one card again. You're a beautiful soul. We only got two more cards to go. Yeah, release any fears at this present moment. Trust your intuition. It literally goes from trust your intuition, okay, to two, two families, to two people maybe thinking, yeah, two thinking. So sort of trust any, trust your fears around that, but release any fears, okay? Um, their rejection is their problem. You get the you get the blessing in, in your way. You can see you've got strength and you have pride in who you are, and that is beautiful. Okay, we just got one more card to go and we'll end it there. You had to end it. You are love, by the way. You had to end it so you could get a new beginning. I don't think they like the transformation because it's above that card which shows the devil, okay? And then the thoughts next to it. So you can see, I don't think they like the transformation because that's what that card is, is transformation. And it puts another emphasis on eight underneath it, which is the growth, which come out twice as well. And uh, here you go. This is the best way to say that card right there. The growth, as you just worked hard on yourself, okay? Uh, you deserve your new beginning and you deserve your transformation. And this is my um, Phoenix card. So you deserve that transformation. As there's the moth on there, but uh, shows a, a butterfly is the idea of the transformation uh, in itself as you are love. Yeah, that's emotionally, intuitively intelligent. You're emotionally, intuitively intelligent to trust the signs of the universe, which led you to wherever you needed to go. And that is beautiful because it does come back to all the messages that, it, that came out before I started. And this person here is joyful and meaningful connections. She has love. She has compassion. She has emotional, intuitively intelligent. She has connections. She has relationships. She has self-care, self-love. And she is a beautiful soul. She often creates out of her mind and her heart. So it shows the right way over the wrong way. And it gifts yourself with two days to create something with your heart alone. As you have no rules, no strategy, no logic. And you are the most beautiful person ever in that type of energy. And it literally, the whole reading is about around your, your blessing coming in. That's watched over by the temperance angels, keeping it safe. And how you can manifest anything at this present moment. We don't need to worry about the devil. The devil's playing on this person's mind because that's their problem as they want to sit down and be a spoiled brat about it. Have a lovely, beautiful day and take care.